Charlie, we've got three Ringos too. We have three to do gringos. some KR to Gringos and Ringos. I know you are not going to be around like this tomorrow. So we have oh. to do the KR to the prof as Zuma Nelson. The <laughs> man himself. <laughs> zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, Nelson. Tomorrow we'll get some of the bites. Yeah, you I'm know gonna what you're talking like, about. Yeah, being like, like, like father, like son. You know, Charlie, the guy. <laughs> he's a hard he's guy. He's a hard guy. KR to the Azuma Nelson. And then, of course, we've got uh, some we've happy birthdays. We've got Maximus Atta of mm-hmm. ARB Apex Maximus Bank. Atta. He loves this station too much. Too, too much. <laughs> Not so wishing wife, you a... No, it's okay. Hey, please. Maximus's wife. We haven't heard we haven't anything. anything. He hasn't told but us. He loves this station. But he loves this yes. station. Now, wishing you a day filled with happiness and a year filled with joy from uh. Amewu and the boys. And of course, I also want to say a okay, care to Kojumata, <laughs> Kojumata, CEO of ARB Apex Bank. You were at Bridal Fair. I wonder what he was doing at Bridal Fair. But anyway. It's okay. <laughs> Happy birthday to my lovely wife, Ekwea Nyakwa Nyaku. Of Tiger for Security Services at Chimota. You want to know that's my wife? Wait, I'm so <laughs> blessed to have such a magnificent wife by my side. With and I will not always love her. Okay, more grace from above, please. So it's that's from, George's wife. It's okay, from Fifi Amoa. <laughs> Fifi Amoa, you are a big man. Fifi Amoa. So much love in the morning. Anyway, okay. too much, too much, yeah, too much. Let's get All right, it. and let's get into the sports center now the sports center is brought to you by nt and welcome to the new world standard chartered bank here for good and epac blows your pain away and multi-tv just thrills carbell gold energy for winners is also on board now mt and momo is the easiest and fastest way to do financial transactions you can use mt and momo to send money receive money pay your bills pay school fees salaries allowances and also pay for your goods and services at any merchant's point. Observe the three golden rules to keep your MTN Momo account safe and secure. Number one, keep your MTN Momo pin safe. It's your secret. Number two, don't give away your MTN Momo transaction details. And number three, perform all your MTN Momo transactions yourself. Keep your account safe and secure and continue to enjoy a fast and convenient MTN Momo experience. Dial star 170 hash and just Momo it everywhere you go now speaking of mtn we have opened our doors to all Guineans to buy yellow shares so you walk into any standard chartered bank branch across ghana and purchase mtn yellow shares as the offer price of 75 pesos per share and a minimum of 10 shares you don't have to bank with us to enjoy the service this offer lasts until july 31 2018 at standard chartered bank we are here for good and we're here for sports so we're getting to the sports center and daniel there is more football in the morning but let's start with boxing as we started of course and look indications are that there will be heavy presence of dignitaries led by president nanado danko kufuado at ringside at the bukum boxing arena on saturday july 21 for azuma nelson's 60th birthday fight night also expected our former president rawlings who played a big role in azuma's rise to glory as well as ex-president john Mahama. Oh, he will also be at ringside. Now, the six fights, Bill, will be live on Super Sport with support from the Multimedia Group. Ahead of Azuma's 60th birthday tomorrow, Ghanaians have been telling Joy Sports of their favorite Azuma moments. Last week, for when he's coming to fight, nobody will sleep unless we watch the fight or let the fight is ended and we see victory and the whole country will jubilate. So he used to keep us happy. I mean, whether you are broke or you are not broke, when Azuma is fighting, when the victory comes, everybody is happy. Whether you have money in your pocket, we'll go out, we'll go and chill. Somebody will buy for you. If you don't have money, somebody will buy for you for the victory. So Azuma there used to put the nation together. He was a very good boxer in those days. And he lifted high... Uh, the name of Ghana on the World Boxing uh, Arena. Uh, he fought somebody, and then later on, uh, I think uh, the person uh, beat him, and he said he would chase him to his uh, backyard in their country. And when he went there, he beat him mercilessly. But I've forgotten the name of that boxer. Uh, don't forget. Uh, don't forget. Don't forget. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's Charlie. a big one. Eh? Oh, yeah, yeah. So many memories. And of course, uh, we'll be building up massively to that event. Look, football next. And the National Under 20 women's or National Under 20 girls team have stepped up their preparations ahead of their participation at this year's FIFA Under 20 World Cup in France. The team, after leaving camp due to the current football situation, resumed camping on Monday. They're expected to embark on a tour of Spain to fine tune preparations. But coach Yusip Basig insists they are making do with a limited training time at the Ghanaman Soccer Center of Excellence. Since we came, we realized that there's no much time on our side. So we need to put in a lot of um, uh, uh, training sessions together in order to catch up with time. So we are combining a lot of things. You could see that we did the set pieces, we, um, how to defend and how to attack. And then we did defensive organization, we did finishing and uh, finally we had to play and we ended it up with um, penalty kicks. Yeah, it's a challenge, but we have to accept it since we have agreed to come to camp. Then definitely we have to accept the challenge and then I think that we are getting on. Now, Coach Yusuf Bazigi will go into the tournament without influential player Presley Dubia, who emerged as top scorer in the qualifiers. This obviously comes as a big blow to the team, but skip of the side, Rafael Hassan believes the other players in camp and what it takes to fill the void created by Dubia. She did help us a lot. She is the reason why we qualified for the World Cup. But all is not lost. Looking up to her, we always like we are trying to put on our best just to make her happy. She is the reason why we are pushing hard. And I guess when we go there, everything will be okay and she too will be ha like happy for us too. Right, let's do more football uh, this morning. And Ghana saw representative in Africa this year. Gianna Stars will take on AS Vita Club in the CAF Confederations Cup Group A match at the Ajiman Bedu Stadium later today. We know the suspension of the Ghana Premier League has really left it Gianna with very little preparations. Of course, there were no games to play. But spokesperson of the club, Evans Opong, is worried uh, about the team's level of preparedness. But he's hoping new coach Kenichi Yatahashi will have a positive impact on the team. Uh, as you know, because of the situation of our game in Ghana. Um, the boys came. It's exactly one week now. And they were a bit rusty because they were not playing. But uh, I think they are coming up. They are coming up, yeah. How big of a problem has that been for you? And what amount of work have you had to put in that? Because I know it will definitely will make your job difficult. Well, uh, as a... Okay, so that's... Uh, yeah, let's hear, let's hear from Evans. We believe the break in the league was having a very devastating effect on, on us, especially on our playing body. Uh, they were lacking that sharpness, that mental focusness, and that mental fortitude was lacking. Uh, but uh, after the past seven days, after Kanechi has to took over, they were in a vast improvement in their mental fortitude. Uh, as I was done training yesterday, that uh, chemistry of understanding, that recipe uh, was there. And uh, we believe um, our problem was that uh, because we were part of the league was on break, um, uh, we didn't have matches to play, uh, and that really have an, uh, is having an effect on us. Uh, but I believe, uh, from what I've seen so far, uh, they need to expect something good from us. Yeah, well, interesting games on the CAF Champions League there. Two-time champion Esperance came from 2-0 down to beat KCC of Uganda by three goals to two. Elsewhere, there was a shock defeat for Mamelodi Sundowns and TP Mazembe kept up their 100% winning record. Now, the resumption of Nigeria's domestic league has been postponed indefinitely amid the leadership crisis. Currently rocking the country's football, Chris Gee, were found of a rival faction in Nigeria Football Federation armed with a court ruling from 2014, is now claiming control of the governing body. Nigeria sports journalist Oluwa Shinokeleji has been following the story this um, league management committee that is the league organizer of the nigerian professional football league um, they have their backing from the amadjupini led board of the nigerian football federation and they, they believe that should the league continue in this atmosphere where there's a problem raging and of course a problem concerning the leadership crisis of the federation it doesn't look good on the league sponsors are concerned they've said in a statement they said they cannot organize a league under this atmosphere and they want all of this impasse to actually go away because it's not good for the brand of the league to be playing the professional football league whilst all this crisis about leadership continues to go on now tana yejina of the punch newspaper nigeria is worried about the implication of the ban on football fans there so the nigerian fan is not going to watch domestic football in uh, like uh maybe in the next one or two months it's been postponed indefinitely they never gave a date 
when this league is going to resume. So and the fan is just dejected. He doesn't even know where to look up to. He's hoping that the European League will start soon and then he can start watching the Premier League, the Serie A and the Bundesliga. You can't bring in a statue of that has not been um, embedded, that has not been domesticated in Nigeria and uh, you want that to override the laws of the country. So that is where we're having problems. And you see people citing instances and they've come out and um, I mean, and, and they've won you know, in, in ordinary court of law. And what is really going to set to this is they have to come down to a round table and sit down and see how this issue will be resolved. I'll tell you, um, a lot of people um, actually go into football for the money they want to make. Okay. These Nigerians. Uh, um, <laughs> they're nowhere cool. That's the point, you know. So, so, Ghana, so they, they have a game this afternoon to watch. Uh, uh, Ghana, Ghana has a game to watch. Ghana has. <laughs> but Nigeria, they have nothing to watch. But you know what? In Sierra Leone, look, the Sierra Leone Football Association says it will be submitting a draft of its new statutes for FIFA's approval in the coming days. The delay means that the an extraordinary uh, well, Congress due on July 27 and 28 has now been postponed by the Football World Governing Body. FIFA sent a letter, you know, to the SLFA signed by Secretary General, you know, Fatima Samora, uddering the delay. Finally, Liverpool fans, you have to hold on a bit. We know that Liverpool have made an offer to sign Romas Alisson back up there for reported 62 million pounds. Um, you guys are jubilating already, but let's go right now to Italian writer Daniele Vieri, who is giving you know Liverpool fans a bit of an insight into what kind of goalkeeper they're going for. He's tall, he's uh, still young, he's 25. Although he's tall, he's very quick getting down to the floor, getting down to the ground and the bottom. He's very good at coming out from the goal. So he's a complete player and he's going to do the team uh, definitely good because if Liverpool have Mignolet and they keep him on the bench in order to play Carius and Carius play the way he did uh, when we saw last, uh, then uh, there is an issue in that position. Liverpool, definitely. Okay, you see, hello, Liverpool fans. It's not a done no, deal. No, no, no. No, I understand it's not a done deal because Thibaut Courtois looks set to become a Real Madrid player as well. So Chelsea have stepped into this one. They're hoping that they can, they can get if the Couture man. Moves to Madrid. Yeah, so they can get him. But Chelsea, they sometimes... No, no, no. no. I don't we'll, we'll, but anyway, we'll get him. The, the point is, as long as something that can <laughs> catch the ball will stand <laughs> are you, in the are you, you are you don't come no, disrespect to no, you want me, no, you want me to go with Inter oh, are interested in Musa Dembele. Like <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see this one, no, because sometimes Chelsea can take some decisions. Eh? Eh, anyway. Can Peter Cech be, be a, a possible replacement for Kotua? Hey. Anyway, <laughs> let's, 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 where he going. Look, let's, let's. Let's just be, be be very serious, Chelsea, eh? And let's do this for God for God and, and everyone. You know? <laughs> That's it for the Joyce Boss Center. <laughs> thank you, you know. very much, Joyce. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Junior. Thank you too. And, and and once again, you know, happy birthday in advance to the prof. Zoom, yes, zoom zoom. Zoom 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 and speaking of birthdays, a belated happy birthday once again to Reverend Albert Tokran. Yeah, oh yes. Yeah, we went for a very nice church service. Oh my god! Oh my god! It was very amazing. Oh my god! It was god. very very. Amazing. The love is sweet. The love yeah, is too they sweet. Do it well. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty nine minutes past seven on the Super Morning Show with Daniel Dazzy. We'll go for these important messages and then the Stambik Bank money tip, and then the group.